What the? This is crazy. This gets even crazier. We have a full size walking pod. Whoa. I guess you could lock people in here if you don't like them. You know you're in a factory building and you got the main door being held open by a brick. That's like a Rube Goldberg of door opening devices. Look at that. This is like the perfect New York City loft. $1,000 reward if you find this dog, which is near today's apartment. Here's where we are, here's where the apartment is. We're also by what looks like some sort of distillery. What do you think is in those vats back there? Maybe some sort of science experiment? There's no name on any of this, so I don't know. Subway's pretty good, you can get yourself the L. And there's a CrossFit place. You can become the annoying member of every friend group who does not stop talking about CrossFit. Please stop. This looks incredible. We got a local diner. Look at that, they open at five. You can get an early start. And look at how faded the menu is. You can't even see it. That's how you know the food is that incredible. Then we got the luncheonette, the basics. Nice big menu here, that's what I like to see. A little coffee takeout window. This is a crazy place. It's like this massive warehouse restaurant and they have beach sand for some reason. I don't want to know what this place looks like at nighttime. It's probably quite a scene. Then over here we got some crazy loft offices. Like the loft building we're gonna go live in soon. Little Mexican place. This is actually coffee right here. So this is cool, it's like an outdoor venue connected to apartments. Yeah, there's something going on up in here. Luckily, it's not an emergency. I don't think that door's working. I feel like this is the type of place that brings in a massive crowd of people from like everywhere. I mean, look, they have tables across the whole sidewalk. This is dope, right around the corner, Peruvian chicken. This is very close to the apartment. This is a cafe, and this is a cool place. Boy, they're in like every line of business there can be. Video games, drills, a sawzall. Sawzall, if you know, you know. This barbershop has a ton of people in it. Pizza, corner restaurant. Over here, this is the Irving Square Park, kind of nice. It's a really basic park, but it has a flagpole and some benches. But next to it, we got this little health juice bar, and they have oat meal and coffee. There he is, the man of the hour. What's up, dude? Good to see oh, you. Yeah. Is that it right there? That place looks nice inside. That is it. That's it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like a real loft. What was this, a former warehouse or something? Uh, something along those lines. And I guess after we see this, we're going over here to this modern building. This building has amenities such as a pool, sauna, gym. This is gonna be a pretty cool apartment battle. Pretty unique. What's this place cost? This place is currently going for $28.50. $28.50? That's it? That's cheaper than most one bedroom apartments. Windows are pretty sweet. We're street level. Got the pipes and stuff. And like the interior is beautiful. Oh wow, these are the same windows we had on the upper level. This thing is around 650 square feet. So what's going on over here? I see like another lofted area. Uh, there isn't a way to get up there. You would need a ladder, but this is just an extra storage space. You do have storage up top as well as storage down below and then the bathroom to the left. Solid pressure. It's a basic bath, but I like it. It's got what matters, storage, and it has a full-size tub. We're gonna have to see if the other baths in here look like this, they probably do. Awesome kitchen. The best part about lofts is how much everything is spread out. What do you think, small bar counter right here? Couple stools? We've also got big appliances, and this stuff is nice too, not like most rentals. Now as for the cabinets, we've got white up top, and if you come down here, we got the brown, nice looking two-tone. Cool thing about this space, you can have your bedroom upstairs, and then your living room or a workspace down below. So we've got one, 
two, three different sections. This could be a kitchen area. This bookshelf is also awesome. I don't know how you're gonna live without this. This comes to the place? This does come okay. to the place. Okay. And just look up at how cool everything is. Red, you got the nice lights. This you probably don't wanna mess with. Have you ever had anyone try that? No. This over here is actually our heater for the apartment. This will keep you very warm in the winter time and it works on gas. Is it also an AC or no? It is not an AC unit. But there's windows, so you get a window AC. This is such a functional area of the apartment. I mean, you could have you could have a lot of stuff. Desk set up, entertainment center, maybe like a couch in the middle facing this way. You've also got lots of outlets. These are all grounded. Also, we've got lighting under the loft. Most lofts, if there's some sort of hack job, which this isn't, they'll be dark underneath. But this is incredibly bright. We got lights and a window underneath there. I can kind of stand up. Most people are gonna put their bed up here. I think you can put your bed up there or you can make that into your living room and have a couch up there because you most of the time. That's a fantastic idea. You have options with a place like this. It's got its own lighting. Of course, there's power. And we're on a pretty quiet street. I mean, there's a food distribution across the way. And that makes this one of the sunniest, quietest first floor apartments anywhere. If there were like loud clubs and stuff out here, this wouldn't be as cool, but I think this is just about right. This be the sprinkler. It's painted red so you don't whack your head. And look at these beams. That's so cool. How many apartments don't have that? Before we see the next place, does the building have any amenities? We have a package room, we have a rooftop, and we also have a freight elevator used for move-ins and a live-in super. Laundry room as well. And you guys have a snack machine. The square feet on this unit is about 950 square feet. Now, dishonest realtors would have rounded that up to a thousand, but not James. Jokes aside, I don't think you could undersell this. Everything that we have here is like an upgraded version of that first place. Bathroom's better too. It's like the same tub. It feels brighter for some reason. Is the water better? It's the same, but the sink is definitely fancier. Storage cabinet's identical. James, what would you put in this foyer? I would put an extra storage over here for coats, winter coats, maybe even a shoe rack. Just a nice little foyer for storage. The kitchen here is bigger as well. The oven is definitely a solid upgrade. Is it the same size fridge? It is the same size fridge. Same sink. But because this is a gigantic space, you wanna be really deliberate with where you put things. For example, you could do a kitchen table, then you could do a rolling counter, and maybe like a floating island. That way you could use the furnitures to kind of signify which area is for cooking. As well as which parts of the apartment are separate from the sleeping area. Wait, I'm an idiot. We have a loft, that's the sleeping area. Great. You can fit a queen bed up here, right? Not only can it fit a queen size bed up here, but you can have extra storage as well. How tall are you? I'm about 5'9". So as long as you're not in the NBA, this is gonna be perfect for you. I guess this could also be an office or something else if you wanted to sleep downstairs. But that's the great thing about a place like this. You can kind of do whatever you want because there's no designated area for anything. Got ourselves a little light, outlets, and I love the support beams. What is the deal with this? Did it used to be like a safe or something? Oh, listen to that. It was a safe back in the day. Really? Still functional. Wow, look at that. And I'm noticing there's no handle in there. So if I go all the way in, no, 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 no. That makes this the perfect room for your mother-in-law. And she won't be able to get out. Also, if you take a look at this, it goes all the way up. We've got some lofted storage up there. So another ladder. It's tough to see because it's so high, but like a ladder on the wall, that will let you get up here, get the most out of this. And then when you're done, you walk out of the hall and you This might be the greatest living room anywhere in New York. It's like a perfect rectangle. We've got these incredible windows facing this quiet street with trees and stuff on it. And the other building we're rolling over to after this. It's also not loud at all. I mean, these windows are already open. We're not getting like noise from engines or honking. You can also check on your bike, make sure nobody steals it. Do you think it's expensive to get curtains for a room like this? It's probably a little deep, but we already have the hookups up there, so it'll be a lot easier for you. Now there's conduit outlets everywhere. This here be the heater, TV, big couches. I also like that you have a clear view all the way to the back of this place. Perfect for keeping an eye on your guests.
This place is huge. Two bed, fully renovated kitchen and bathroom. 35 50 For a two bed. For a two bed. All right, my apartment officially started sucking once we saw the one bed. I can't even believe this. Definitely the biggest kitchen so far. And look at the foyer area. It's got double the amount of closets. Plus the ladder accessible storage up here. This bathroom is also bigger than any of the others we've seen. Love the vanity lights. But this kind of makes sense. It's a bigger apartment, needs a bigger bathroom, bigger kitchen. And now you can feel like a real chef. Yeah, man, look at that. I mean, I thought the other kitchens were good, but this is great. The common area here is also 40 feet long. 15 studios in Manhattan's East Village would all fit right inside here. James, can you hear me? Big echo, listen to that. For reference, these are also like 15 foot ceilings. So over here, this is gonna be like the living room den area. And then you can have extra seating, big dining table. The view out of these windows is totally charming. And the bedrooms are actually this little box over here with the ladder. This is actually the lower room. They're on top of each other. But look at how unique this is. It's bright, it's sunny. These are those same really awesome looking loft windows. You can open them, they face this building. Ceilings are about six-ish feet. For me, this is just fine, but your mileage may vary. Queen or a king bed. Then you could have dressers, you could have an office. Okay, this has the same dimensions as the room underneath it. You just don't wanna jump up and down because you'll wake up your roommate. These windows just get cooler and cooler every time I look at them. Love the little lighting that we got up in here. That's sweet. How cute would this be? You put a nice bed right here. Gorgeous little room for sure. I don't even know how to describe these anymore. It's tough to pick a favorite. This one is also at 35.50. That loft is like the most extensive out of all of them so far today. And it has a walk-in closet right behind. How many bedrooms did you say this was? A one bedroom. I clearly see a bedroom here, a bedroom here, and then I see this. This is a three bedroom. <laughs> so this is where the water heater is. I guess you could use that for storage. Outside of that room, we have this massive storage unit, or like you said, walk-in closet. Put a mirror up on the wall so you can see yourself shine bright. That's right, you'll be shining bright if you live here. If you're not gonna use this for sleeping, I don't know what you're gonna do with it. It's a perfect upper bedroom. And it's directly over the kitchen, so in the morning you'll smell bacon. <laughs> right? If you live with somebody who cooks. There's also shelves and stuff built in. Got the same pipes running the length. But the other part of this that's really unique isn't just the living room, which looks cool. It's this entire kitchen, which is underneath here. Was this the type of finish that these had prior to the other kitchens getting renovated? This was a little bit different than what you see right now. Appliances are nice. Feels like a country home or something with these drawers. The silver sink, that's definitely the way to go. Just feels very homey. I guess if you want something different, this is it. Plus, look at this built-in bookshelf. Trophies, silverware, what do you think? Photos of family. That's the perfect dining area. And just outside of these windows, you could see how nice the modern loft building is we are about to head over to. But this loft building does have its own roof deck as well. This is huge. There's like a fake person up there taking a picture. Oh, that's not a real person. I was gonna say, can you get up there? Look at that, you got the lounge beds, you got the tables. Look at that view, you can see the Empire State clear as day. What's the story with this over here? It's like an old pirate ship or something. That's our old water heater. There used to be a water heater up there. We took it down and now some tenants actually do acrobatics up there. Dude, this is gorgeous! We got lofts in both buildings, which is pretty nice. In this building, you have the amenities, dishwasher, all the updated stuff you need. What's the rent on this apartment? This one is currently going for... Oh, gotta check! $38.50. All right, the other place had cooler apartments. 
but this one has a cooler swing. This is like the full luxury treatment right here. For reference, this is where we just were. We know what that looks like. But definitely here, you can see that the fit and finish is a little bit more modern. And look at this cabana, that's awesome. I would definitely be hanging out up here all the time. Down in the basement, got that laundry. Oh, that's beautiful. It comes with an Equinox and some Pelotons. Oh, look at that. Most luxury buildings, the weights stop at 50, but here we go up to 55. You just gotta be a little bit better than everybody else, don't you, James? And then in here we have the sauna. That's awesome. It's on too. You don't have to like wait for it to heat up. It's ready for you. Just move in. And then we have the pool. It's only open at certain hours, but that is a full size. And now we're inside. Yes. Oh, look at that, it's so nice. Now pools are actually the hardest amenity to maintain. Believe it or not, the health department, they can actually come by and test your water and shut you down. And of course, there's a lounge. This is great. You could hustle for your rent money at this pool table. And there's foosball. Now I see two bedrooms over here and the lofted area. Would you rent this to three people? I would, but I consider it a two bedroom. That's pretty sweet, we got parking. And this balcony is insanely functional. You could have a table, you could have chairs. It's definitely wide enough for stuff to fit. As far as layouts, we could have a hangout area over here with a dining area on this side. Entertainment center right over here. How's our storage looking? Oh, pretty good. Also, lighting like this just really kind of makes the whole thing look interesting. This is awesome. I don't know what you put in here, but it's cool. Got some hangers, maybe some suits or something. What do you recommend people do with this up here? So I've seen multiple variations of the upstairs. I've seen a guest bedroom or a man cave. A nice snack bar, your TV up on the wall, a nice couch. What's crazy is that we haven't seen a bad kitchen in any apartment. These have all been way above average. And don't say there's no dishwasher here. It just blends in. It's hiding. It's a little bit shy. Also, look at that. Got a little fan right over here in the corner. Fridge, nice big. Wait till you see the bedrooms. This is for the sky. What? That's like 20 feet off the ground. That's insane. So you just twist that to open it? And this bedroom comes with an AC. Don't move it around, but that's nice. It's vented to the outside. I actually really like this room. It's an absolute monster. And you know what? I think this stick is also that you can, so you can uh, open the closets. I'm not gonna do it, but I think, I think that's what it's for. Oh, these look pretty big. But if that room for some reason isn't your cup of tea, how could you argue with this? This is the small room, but it'll still fit a queen size bed. The ceilings go way up. We have the balcony view. And I see we've got the same deal with the massive closets. And if you weren't sold yet, this, we have the jacuzzi tub. Gorgeous bathroom all around. Did you have a favorite place today? Because if you did, let James know about it. Follow him on Instagram right here. We'll see you in the next video.